Hey, I'm Bowen, and this is Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, just one of the many games that cost me many thousands of dollars here at Papa. Uh, we're going to play this game and uh, see how we go. This is the game that uh, Keith Elwin won his third consecutive Papa World Championship at Papa 13 by scoring over 500 million points. Uh, it's a two-ball, multi-ball game. It's a very tight play field, so it's fast. You have to be accurate with your shooting and get control of the ball. So we'll talk about different ways to do that and different goals to make. Now, on with the show. First major goal is to complete film to light multi-ball. The F, I, L, and M are all on different parts of the play field. The F being the kiss shot, the I the menu targets, the L the paid lane at the top, and the M is the slide on the right. The kiss and the paid you can complete in one shot off the plunge. So there are two options in the skill shot. I prefer to take kiss because it takes four shots to finish. And it's just timing your plunge properly to get as many letters as you can, ideally all four. If you get all four, you get kiss immediately, but if you get three out of four, you just need one more shot. So let's get control of the ball. And we'll get the other goals. To get I, you need to shoot the menu targets, and you can also hit the shot right up the middle into the hole to spot one of the menu targets. So a safe way of playing the game is to shoot this hole, get a letter, get control of the ball, and, you know, very safe, right? So I think, well, there's got to be a better way of getting control of the ball than doing that. So there is. And uh, the way you get control of the ball by doing that it, off, of the, off of the snack bar shot is to make the right ramp. So from here, I'm going to shoot backhand into that ramp and into the snack bar. And try it again. As the ball comes out here, I'm going to backhand it into the snack bar and around that little ramp. Eh, it didn't quite go. But it comes right back to the flipper. So backhand and then into the snack bar. Boom! If you flip right as you're finishing those menu targets, you get a little animation. It's not worth any points, but it's funny. So this game is fast. Stuff happens quick. I'm going to concentrate on L now, which is the paid lanes at the very top of the game. And as it comes down from the bumpers, I'm going to give the, give the game a whack with my right hand to get it off the wall and avoid the slingshot. A little slow on the draw there through the lane, so it's going to mean that you have to shoot that shot again. It is also increasing the jackpot value, so that when I do get into multi-ball, I'll have an opportunity to score a little extra. If you miss that shot through the middle, you're in trouble. And there again, a little slow on the draw, and that's going to mean I've got to make another shot. But, or I guess I don't. Five shots through the middle, and I've made four there, starts a round called Move Your Car. So after multi-ball, we'll, we'll go after Move Your Car. Good sound here, too. Lots of nice music, a different tune each ball. And then M, you can do by shooting that. You get eight million extra if you complete FILM in order. Uh, and it's not really a reason to do that. But uh, notice there, the, as it kicks out of the M, kicks it all the way back around to the left flipper. This is a really good opportunity to practice live catches. If you have one of these or can see it on location, it's one of the easier live catches available because the ball is coming at the right angle to flip and catch the ball. So I'm going to try to do that again. Shoot M. This time we'll start multi-ball. I can get control of the ball again. Shoot M. And as multi-ball begins, this ball is going to kick around to the left and I'm going to try to catch it with the left flipper by flipping when the ball comes around. The second ball that plunges, I'm going to plunge in the, the top lanes in order to get the bumpers and basically keep this ball out of the way so I can gain control of the other ball. Here it comes, and that was a very poorly executed catch. I flipped too early and flipped the ball away. There's the creature. You shoot the left loop, the, the K shot, the, the kiss shot, the film shot. Sorry, the, the kiss shot, the slide, and the snack bar. And one of those shots, I won't tell you which, will light for uh, the creature. Now you need, after doing the rest, after doing finding the creature, you have to shoot the center hole twice. Once to rescue and once to score jackpot. But there is another thing to do, which is to shoot the side ramp, the left ramp, for creature feature, feeding this cup. It's a very difficult shot, and it sometimes drains, as you just saw. It is possible to restart the multi-ball, shooting the snack bar. What I tend to do is, before the restart, concentrate on getting the playfield X through that side ramp. 
We're gonna go for that ramp anyway here, just because it's an interesting shot and uh, see what people want to see what it does. That was disappointing, but we got around there. So now it comes around to this cup and every time you go and hit that switch, it normally a multi-ball will give you a letter and creature. Since we blew it, uh, instead it was just giving me 500,000 a spin. Oh, come on. It's um, sad that I know how much that's worth because it tells you just how many times I've blown that shot. So that four shots to the ramp light like snack attack. Snack attack is a hurry up to this snack bar hole. Um, it's not counting down especially fast, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But it's worth cashing in, it's good value. Um, one of my strategy plays is to start the game off by going directly for the snack attack. It's somewhat easy. It scores good points if you can get that hurry up fast. And it establishes your score in the game if you're playing opponents in head-to-head. -head. In head-to-head, -head, inevitably, one of your four oppo three opponents, if you're playing a four-player game, that was a terrible drain there. I should have saved that with a slap save. Usually, at least one of your opponents ends up having a poor game and uh, then you can basically make sure that you get something from your play. So here I've got three out of the four letters again, I being the one that's left. And uh, I'm just, we're about to get move your car, I think, so let's go for that instead right now. Normally I'd probably play for multi-ball, knowing that there's a super jackpot out there. But uh, move your car, you start by shooting five loops. There's the fifth loop. And we've got extra balls on, try and make it a little easier on me. Normally in competition, those would be shut off. Move your car, you shoot that center loop once and it establishes a value. You want that value to be as high as possible, ideally eight million. And then 15 seconds to shoot the shot again, as many times as you can. Probably not gonna get all full value out of this, but the second shot is worth double. So by locking in a good value with the first shot, it gives me a chance to make the second and third shots for good value. And that third shot, if I can get the ball back to my flippers fast enough, that's nah, probably not happening, but... And there is no grace period on this shot, so sorry about that. The second move of your car depends on how well you did. If you successfully scored any move of your car shots, it takes eight more shots to start the next one. If you didn't get any move of your car shots, I think it only takes three shots to get the next one. Uh, I need the eye still, and the snack bar will give me letters. Uh, some players like to shoot it right from the right flipper. I prefer the left flipper. It's a safer shot, I feel. And you can get it in a flow off of that ramp if you have the timing right. But from the left flipper, it's pretty much straight in. And you get a letter. You will get, not a letter, a, a menu target. You'll get credit for these menu targets up until the point that you score a jackpot during the game. So here I can take a shot at the menu target to light multi-ball, but that's unsafe. The ball will be out of control. That's a safer way of playing it. Still gives you the same points, same credit, but you don't lose the ball by having it bounce off something. I could have lost the ball there just by being stupid and missing the shot to start the multi-ball. Got lucky there. So again, I'm gonna try to live catch as it feeds that ball around. And uh, then we'll see if I can get a jackpot out of this one. This live catch is really important. That was better, not still not perfect, but that live catch on the right was better there actually. Because here you're in a you're in a situation where you can basically just choose your shots. I like to shoot the right shot, the M shot first, because if I know that I'm good at that live catch, I can live catch this again. The shots are random, so you could get hosed, get the, get it right the first time. Bad live catch cost me there. Oh, there's a better one. Now it's going to feed out of here. I'm going to shoot the left ramp and try for spins. This is the point where I usually screw up. There we go. So you're trying to spell creature down here, and I like shake, give the game a shake. Three letters. Sometimes you get a fourth letter. And in this one, this is the same creature that was used in the Papa 13 final. You could hold up that right flipper and let the ball come to a stop. But the shot, the reshot, it's a very steep shot up that ramp. And there's a fourth letter out of the shake. So I'm getting a little, I'm a little greedy by moving and risking a tilt. But uh, getting four letters instead of three letters there is very important because it means less shots. And as you see, those shots are risky. I'm gonna try to do a cradle separation, a little tip up and shoot this ball into the snack bar and then recatch that ball on the left flipper. 
Yeah, oh yeah, that was good. All right, so the jackpot is lit now. And like, take the jackpot. No, I don't want the jackpot. I want a big jackpot. Oh, bad, bad play there. So here, I don't want it to do the same thing because I don't want the jackpot. I have my restart still available. The play field is at 2x, but the maximum is 4x. I want to instead cradle separate this ball so I can get it to the right. There we go. And then make that shot instead of missing it. There's a warning. <laughs> All right, maybe we won't do that anymore. And you can see there, that, that ramp shot is just not easy at all. Um, now play field is tripled. You can get up to 4x play field. There's a bug in the game where if you get 4x play field at any point during the game, your later balls in the game, you, or later multi balls, you can't get any multipliers because it'll think the multiplier's already been maxed out. Um, and the settings can set the maximum multiplier to either 3x, 4x, or 5x. So it can be helpful to know just what it is, but the default is for the maximum multiplier to be 4x. So everything now is 4x, that's the highest multiplier it can be. Um, and there's actually an option here to just keep shooting the ramp, uh, which uh, would allow the player to just take 4 million. Every, every spin is 4 million. But seriously, you're gonna do that when there's a 270 million jackpot just sitting there? Uh, and why don't we just miss that jackpot instead? After jackpot, you wanna put the ball into the bumpers and then shake the machine. Get more bumper action as much as you can. Ideally, get the second ball into the bumpers because what's gonna happen is after enough bumpers, the super jackpot will be lit. And the super jackpot is up by getting the snack bar. Oh, that was a, that was a disaster. I'm gonna wait here, try to catch this ball on the right. Um, hopefully the live catch. Oh, that was another disaster. Give me the ball. Wow, that ball almost trained. Get in your hole. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, sir! After you get a super jackpot, and that was a lot of points there. Uh, you then can go back to the very beginning, find the creature. The super jackpot not only scores a crap load of points, oh dang, it doubles the value of the jackpot. So if I was able to get back around to a jackpot again, that jackpot would have been the value of the super that you just saw instead of that. So it's just to prove it to you, we'll put the ball in the bumpers, watch the jackpot value. Nah, I didn't get enough bumpers to show it to you. And uh, I guess I didn't really need that extra ball. So we'll let this go at the end of ball three and just call it quits. Uh, now the jackpot value is 150 million. So if you get back around again and finish film, there is a lot more in play there. Getting lucky. After making a super jackpot, the, film, the menu targets become as difficult as they can be. A lot of flailing going on here. I'm getting away with a lot. This is down. Nope. Wow. Come on. Stop backhanding kiss. That's stupid. So I'm getting away with a lot after this. Kind of a... Just get control. Once you get control of the ball, you can just take a breather, relax, and just forget about what happened earlier in the game. But as I was saying, the menu targets after making a super jackpot, uh, not only now does a snack bar not score menu targets, the menu targets also will not move around in the bumpers. So you must actually make all four menu targets. So that's the end of the official ball three in terms of a tournament game. I did earn an extra ball, so I, don't know, I guess we'll play it out and see what happens. But uh, 1.28 billion for no extra balls, pretty solid game. Uh, much more than I was expecting to get. And. Um, Unfortunately, you know, these things happen when you're not playing Keith Elwin in the finals. So to get back into multi-ball, we need to complete this, the, uh, the M on the right. And this is probably a good opportunity to start going for some other goals. You can you shoot the right ramp enough times, you light video mode. Video mode is lit from either ramp, and this is also known as beat up Dwight Sullivan mode because it's Dwight Sullivan's uh, uh, playing the peeping Tom here. 
The way to kill this video mode is to go two lefts and two rights. So once you establish which way, oops, and flip the flippers again at the end, and you'll get extra points for knocking Dwight's head off. Sorry, Dwight. Uh, the second shot to the right loop, the M shot, lights Mega Menu. The third shot gives you a random award. Unlimited millions off the left ramp is the best one. And here you want to get the ball under control as quickly as possible and just start nailing the left ramp as repeatedly as you can. Andy Rosa put up 10 shots on the left ramp in 30 seconds. Uh, I'm not getting nearly as many. But every shot is worth more than the last one. Nine, this will be 12, then 15. And there's a little trick here which I was unable to pull off, which is that on any mode in Creature, if you start the mode uh, and then start multi-ball, the mode will resume after the multi-ball is over. So to show you what I mean, we're going to light uh, this super mode for making 12 ramps. And shoot the snack bar. Oh yeah. Now all of this crap is lit. This is from 12 ramps. This wasn't really hard to get to that. It's a very valuable thing. And everything is lit around the game, so that was 5 million. 10 million. But now, if you start multi-ball during the, uh, whatever this is called, super scoring. Come on, stop giving me the slings. Oh, this is bad. Make a shot. There we go. So multi-ball begins, and what I think will happen, it's never actually tried this, is that when multi-ball is over, the super scoring will pick up again. That ball is going to kick around to the left, so they'll want this ball to be plunged into the bumpers. The ideal plunge is into the A or the I because you get more bumpers from the middle shots than you get from the one on the left or the right. A couple of little features that aren't really worth knowing about. One, you can continue to make those left ramps. Two is that if you can finish the menu targets, you like this weird thing called uh, Monster Madness, which I don't know why they even installed that because it's worth the whopping four million. But if you get bored of Creature, you can just go for Monster Madness points, I suppose. It's a tough timer on this restart. You've got to get it fast. And again, it's only a two-ball multi-ball. I searched the snack bar. It wasn't there. I got the Kiss Lane. I got the the uh, slide on the right to still get through and it is random again so you don't always get it like just from the first one or the second one. Oh yeah more monster madness another four million hell yeah cradle separate and try to make the snack bar twice for jackpot that's a 150 million single jackpot uh, and uh, we'll go back to the bumpers to try and get a second super Ideally, what you want to do here is put both balls in the bumpers or put one ball in the bumpers while the other ball is just sitting on a flipper and then put that ball back in the bumpers when it comes out, when the other one comes out. I think the, ah, oh, that was a big, I should have had that. Good. Yeah, but there you can see the super scoring is resuming and it's giving me all my crap all over again and resetting the timers on that crap. Uh, so if you're playing something like Move Your Car or Unlimited Millions or you get into super modes uh, and it's timing out, you can actually start multi-ball and then get the whole thing back over again later. Anyway, um, that's Creature and if you have any questions, you can put up a question here on the blog and thanks for watching. Take care.